In this video, I introduce a back propagation through time for long short term memory. Here is one as LSTM cell, which includes three gates one is a forget gate, input gate, and output gate. Here is the corresponding gate update equations. For example, for the forget gate, we use the previous hidden state and the current input together as an input to a nonlinear activation function. And use this output as a gate to control the information from the previous cell. In the input gate, we use the previous hidden state and the current input as the input to the nonlinear activation function to control what's the input information allowed to into the current cell. And in the output gate, we use uh, the previous uh, hidden state and the current input together as an input to the nonlinear active function. And they use this uh, output as a gate to control uh, what's the information allowed to leave this cell. We use a gradient descent method to uh, train the LSTM model. So we need to first uh, define the loss function. For example, here we use the uh, mean squared error as a loss function. And then we calculate the gradient of a loss function with respect to all the model parameters in the output gate, forget gate, and the input gate. So our main task is how to calculate this gradient of the loss function with respect to parameters w and b by using the chain rule in the uh, back propagation through time. Here, for example, uh, first uh, we need to use uh, the chain rule to calculate the gradient of a loss function error with respect to the model parameter uh, W O X. Let's use this uh, as an example to give more details. We have a loss function. Uh, is defined by using ground truth and uh, the model prediction h t here. So to calculate the gradient of the loss function error with respect to model parameter w o x, we have uh, these uh, four steps. Use the chain rule. First, uh, we calculate the gradient of uh, error with respect to it. s h t because we use the mean squared error, so we get this uh, formulation. And then now we calculate the gradient of uh, HT with respect to O out here. So we have this uh, tangent edge as a coefficient here. And then we calculate the gradient of uh, O out with respect to OT. And then so it's a sigmoid function. So uh, we have this result. And finally, we calculate the gradient of OT with respect to WOX. This OT, this WOX. So we have this XT coefficient here. And then now we put four uh, gradients together to get the gradient of a loss function error with respect to model parameter WOX here. So we can use same way to calculate uh, the gradient uh, in the output gate, or gate gate, and uh, the input gate. For more details, please check with this reference. Thank you. Bye.